So we came together as a coalition, a, a loose coalition of all associations and union in health. Uh, we are nine in number uh, to issue the statement, but it has taken us time to do that. And we had to agree on certain points before we could come out. But the background to uh, what it is is that over time, over the period, we've been issuing press statements, you know, press releases. And as as Ghana Medical Association, we've even had public lectures. We've had annual general conferences solely dedicated to, you know, Galamse. But it has fallen on deaf ears. Hmm. And the situation is getting worse by the day. So we think that you know, we must change course. That is why we rallied our colleagues in the various aspects, uh, in various sectors in health, to come out with this statement. Because we think, you know, that the brunt of the effect of this wanton destruction of the environment and of our valuable resources is on health. Yes, we can talk about the social impact. I think <coughs> you've amply demonstrated that since this morning, the effect, you know, on our forests, water bodies and all. But it is home. It is it's something mm. must be done. Now let me paint you a picture. It has affected me directly. My daughter is in one of the schools in Cape Coast. And I, I, I don't want to mention the school. Mm. We contributed to buy, you know, containers or you know, the overhead tanks for them for water storage. Yet there is water, water is not flowing. So we have now had to go forward to contribute to buying water for them from tankers. So it's getting home. Or now water works. Hmm. I have a family, you know, that as we speak. If I were home there, I visit there regularly. And this is not the dream that I knew when I was a child. Hmm. So it is really hitting home. And we are saying that we need to change courses. Look, you talk about the health impact. And I'll just paint you a little picture. Look, I travel along the Kumasi, um, Accra Kumasi Road. I stop at um, Aboso Kain Chomba. I don't know whether any of you have stopped there to eat fufu sometimes. I love to do that. But I'm beginning to revise my nose. You know why? Because the Akantia and the Bunobunu meat that you are eating, you don't know what is how it's contaminated. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm afraid now to continue doing so is because the arsenic and the mercury that may have gotten into this grass cutter that you are enjoying mm. is non-biodegradable. But underscore that so that it stays within the body, the plants, the animals that you know get contaminated from the poison soils and the poison water. It stays with you, then it gets passed on. And, and Dr. Said Sampene has actually done a research within this area and confirmed this. Absolutely, That's yes. what Erasmus was referring to. And, and Professor Sampene is a, is a member of the Medical Association, and we are aware of these facts. And beyond that, look, I have nephrologists who are working, I work with the university, and I work in Kolebu as well. And there are tons of publications that suggest that it has gone beyond just the immediate environs of the Galams area, and it is coming to town. So you live in Accra and you think that you are safe, I tell you, if you go to Abobroshi, you go to Malata to buy food, it is coming home. And the dire consequence, you may not have seen it now, of course, somebody has demonstrated that it's happening now. Mm. But in the long term, it's going to affect your kidneys. Do we even know whether this kidney disease that is on the rise is partly due to Galamse effect? I believe so. The arsenic, you know, let me give you a little background story. It is said and postulated that one of the reasons why the Roman Empire collapsed was because of mercury. In fact, they had a god called mercury. They valued mercury, and important ornaments and caps were laden or lined with mercury. So the top echelons probably overconsumed mercury, yeah. and people think that it led to, you know, uh, dementia and all that. But that's, uh, you know, on the, on, on the lighter side. But most importantly, the health implications is what we are <clears throat> worried about. You have, you have noted in your statement that Effort by media and civil society organizations have yielded little impact. We are at a point where, and I, I underline this, if immediate action is not taken, Ghana will face an environmental catastrophe that will severely compromise health, well-being, and future of its people. You mean we will face? We are not there? Well, okay. So... The thing is that we can change course, but those of us on this table, those of you watching us, listening to us, when was the last time you drank tap water? Hmm. Nobody. We don't. So already we are afraid, and it's affecting us. So we don't want it to get worse. The, even the sachet water and the bottled water that we're using have safe our day. We are now importing water. Hmm. So yes, we probably are there, but we're saying that better late than never. Okay. We can't change course. And that is why we are saying that the president, 
who wields the ultimate power, the executive president, because the sovereignty resides in the people, but power, as we have it in our constitution, ultimately resides in the president. And he, he must take the lead and say that enough is enough. Let's pause. You, you have three main demands. Yes, we do. A total ban on small-scale mining operations with immediate effect, whether legal or illegal. <laughs> when I read that portion, I said, they mean business. No, we do. Then two, that there should be a clampdown on all persons who flout the directives and prosecute them expeditiously. And three, that political parties should make a public declaration mm -hmm. and publish a duly signed document on their commitment to fight illegal and unethical mining activities in Ghana. But you didn't end there. You said that if these your demands are not meant, met, you cannot, you say, we cannot guarantee industrial harmony if our demands are not heeded. Yes, absolutely. But let me just clarify the issue about whether legal or illegal. Uh, the, 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 uh, the videos you showed, a lot of them have legal licenses, yet the environment is being pillaged. So it means that it hasn't worked. And I will tell you that this community uh, mining program, for me, is an euphemism for Galamsey. Hmm. Because there's no control. The environment is being decimated. So we are saying that, you know, what we're calling illegal or illegal, you know, is all the de um, um, devastating environment. So we need to pause. And if you are going in one direction, you need to change direction. You need to stop first before right. you can change direction. And 